Hello, this is Travel and Vacation Channel Fridge Store. We would like to present you a video about the ancient city of Hue, Vietnam. The imperial city is a walled palace within the citadel of the city of Hue, the former imperial capital of Vietnam. Many consider this building to be a symbol of wealth and power. In June 1789, Guan An took control of Vietnam and proclaimed himself Emperor Jia Long. His rule was recognized by China in 1804. Jia Long consulted with geomancers to decide which was the best place for a new palace and citadel to be built. After the geomancers had decided on a suitable site in Hua. Building began in 1804. Thousands of workers were ordered to produce a wall and more, 10 kilometers long. Initially, the walls were earthen, but later these earthen walls were replaced by stone walls, 2 meters thick. The citadel was oriented to face the Hong River to the east. This was different from the forbidden city in Beijing, which faces south. The Empire's Palace is on the east side of the citadel, near the river. A second set of tall walls and a second moat was constructed around the Empire's Palace. Many more palaces and gates, courtyards and gardens were subsequently added. The reigns of the last Vietnamese emperors lasted until the mid of the 20th century. At the time, the purple forbidden city had many buildings and hundreds of rooms. It suffered from dermid and cyclone damage, but was still very impressive. Many bullet holes left over from the Vietnam War can be observed on the stone walls.
in the early morning hours of January 31, 1968, as part of the Tet Offensive, a division-sized force of North Vietnamese Army and Viet Cong soldiers launched a coordinated attack on her seizing most of the city. During the initial phases of the Battle of Her, due to Her's religious and cultural status, Her's troops were ordered not to bomb or shell the city, for fear of destroying the historic structures. But as casualties mounted in house-to-house -house fighting, these restrictions were progressively lifted and the fighting caused substantial damage to the imperial city. Out of 160 buildings, only 10 major sites remain because of the battle. The city has become a UNESCO site in 1993. The buildings that still remain have been restored and preserved. The latest and so far the largest restoration project has been started in 2012 and still in progress. The grounds of the Imperial City are protected by fortified ramparts 2 km by 2 km and ranged by a moat. The water in the moat is routed from the Perfume River through a series of sluice gates.
the enclosure is the citadel. Inside the citadel is the imperial city with a perimeter of all some 2.5 km in length. Within the imperial city is a proper forbidden city, a term similar to forbidden city in Beijing. Access to the innermost enclosure was restricted to the imperial family. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, I hope for a like. Share this video on social networks with your friends. Subscribe to the Fritz Stewart channel. See you later friends, bye bye.